I am the poorest. I live in every human being. One knows me very well, the others doesn't know at all. Now I make those people to paint the gates. I know that they will be caught by police and they know about it too. But they don't care about it. They can live in jail, but without protest, they cannot. The reality and the art is separated now. It is just introducing consumer society's generalized view. So they are rejecting the reality of reality. In the ethics, it means that the facts and the norms are the same. Political art in Armenia accepted as going far from art's principles. Even the post-Soviet art is very abstract and out of the context. If you go to Armenian Modern Art Museum, you'll see the works that have just decorating function, and these works can be useful only like part of the interior in some rich men's houses. I can't keep silent. I must talk about this. My language is street art. I face problems to the walls and the walls face it to people. These walls can be destroyed once, but not now. After 2008 March 1st events, Armenian government made police control public spaces. Art Laboratory just marks public spaces to show his protest to totalitarian police control. This is an underground fight, so we are marking just undergrounds on the spaces near them. Our works can be just feedbacks of some breaking evidences. They can show people or just have a symbolic meaning. We are realizing that this kind of art is bringing back just a little part of public space. But this is a great background to continue our struggle. We don't want to be famous. And that's why we are free.